Dear friends, today I'll discuss with you the monostable mono multivibrator. Mono means single. It's an electronic device which having only the single stable state. And single state might be either the low level or it may be the high level. It may be zero or it may be one. So this is low and high. Okay. Now, if we give a triggering pulse to the monostable multivibrator, then it, uh, like this, a triggering pulse, if we, we, we give it to the monostable multivibrator, it will change its state. If it is already, if, if it is already on a low level, it will shift to the high and will, uh, will remain there for some time, for a short time, then come back to the, again, the stable state. So, triggering pulse shift is states temporary, the shifting is temporary. It come back to the original state after just a short while, okay? So, this is a monostable and uh, this is a low level, it is a, it is a stable state. We are giving a triggering pulse. So, with the help of the trigger, it is going from low to the high level, but just after some time, of short time, it's coming back to the low level, which is a stable one, okay? Now, let's think about uh, the mono is on a, having a high stable, high level as a stable level. We are giving a triggering pulse, trigger shift, trigger will shift its, uh, now this trigger is, shift is high level to the to low but low is not a stable one it come back to the high level again okay hello dear friends today i'll discuss with you the how the bipolar junction transistor act as a switch switch you know like it is on or off like a toggling switch it is like a flip-flop having zero and one memory states okay now the how the transistor act as a switch. Let's learn about it. This is a meter. A meter is grounded and the collector and collector is given a supply positive and then grounded VC is the supply. This is a ground terminal. Okay, the voltage between uh, base and ground base and a meter. This is the input voltage. If it is less than 0 0.7, no forward bias, then the transistor is off. Transistor it is in off state without uh, the forward biasing. If it is off without forward biasing, there will be no current. Like there will be no emitter current, base current and collector current, okay? There will be no emitter current, base current or the collector current. Now that means this, uh, this point is broken, this point is broken. And uh, this as yes, the point is broken, output is taken across, output is taken at this point. And here the voltage will appear as VCC, as a high voltage. So when the transistor is off, the voltage appear as a high voltage VCC. Okay. Now, if the um, if the forward biasing is given to the between the base and ammeter, if some forward there is some voltage is given which is greater than the 0 0.7 volt, then the transistor becomes on. There will be ammeter current, base current, and collector current. The collector current will flow, and transistor is on. When the collector current flows, it passes through the RC and and their uh, voltage uh, is established. Voltage will appear across RCS, ICRC. And the positive end of the voltage, negative end of the voltage. We are taking the output at here. And when we are taking the output at this point, you know, here the low, low voltage, low voltage means the zero voltage. Zero voltage means like uh, the zero potential, low potential. So if it is on the potential at output will be low 
So the short circuit between collector and emitter. So low voltage at the output. Okay. Thank you. Multi vibrator. This is a uh, we are going to draw the circuit diagram. Where there are two two transistors, BGT bipolar junction transistor one and junction to by BGT second. This ground uh, this grounded line. Here the VCC supply. Supply is given through a switch on off. Okay. This one is the emitter. This one collector. This one is the base. The resistance is connected to the collector and then collect this this is attached to the supply VCC. Emitter is uh, we're going to make it ground, making the emitter ground, um, making it to ground, okay. This is again a emitter, base and collector. Emitter is again the grounded. So this is the ground terminal, zero potential. Then this is a, from here we we will take the output V out one and then this is a R L one load resistance R L one not R one. When you make this correction. Now here it is R L two. You make this correction also. This is this is not RL1, it is RL2. Q1, Q2. Now, collector of the Q1 is attached to a capacitor. This is a capacitor C1. And then it is attached to the supply through resistance R2. Then this is further attached with the base of Q2. And then the collector of Q2 is attached to the base of Q1 through R1. And then here the base of Q1 is attached to a negative supply VBB through a resistor. And a triggering pulse is given here through a capacitor C2. The input pulse or the triggering pulse can be applied to the base of Q1. So this is the circuit diagram. Now we will see about its working. We will discuss, I will discuss with you the working of this. So if there is no triggering pulse, no triggering pulse is applied, like uh, this switch is uh, closed, switch is closed and then this is NPN transistor and you notice that uh, minus VPP is attached to the base of Q1 and when the minus of VPP is attached to the base of Q1, it makes the base emitter junction, you know, reverse biased because base is P and battery is negative potential it makes makes make it uh, reverse biased so there will be no IC1 there will be no collector current IC1 IC1 will be zero and if IC1 will be zero V out one will be the same at, as VCC because there will be no current so Q1 is off and V out one is VCC mean at the high potential okay so this is what happened at q1 now we will see about what will happen at uh, q2 now what will happen at the q2 just looking like here it's a vcc so a current will flow through this path and that current will make the base emitter junction of q2 forward biased when it is uh, you know when it is slightly forward biased 
B symmetry junction of Q2 is the, is uh, is uh, forward biased, then Q2 becomes on. When Q2 becomes on, IC2 will then IC IC2 starts flowing. So IC2 flows, then this point will come at the low potential. This point will come at the low potential because the collector current is flowing. So the transistor Q2 is on and here the potential is low remember if the transistor current is flowing output will be low and here the transistor is off and the potential is high so this is uh, you know what happened without the triggering pulse now we will see about when a triggering pulse is applied when a triggering pulse is applied you know When a triggering pulse is applied, what happened to the base of Q1? So triggering pulse, you know, it uh, because negative potential VBB is attached to the base P. But when the triggering pulse is applied, this potential will overcome the negative biasing, main reverse biasing, and it makes the base of a meter junction forward biased. So this triggering pulse makes the base of meter junction forward biased. So IC1 starts flowing. When IC1 flows, V out 1, you know, it uh, transfer, it becomes now at the low potential. It shifted from high to low now because now the transistor is on and current is flowing. So V out 1 comes at the low potential. This is very important because the current is flowing. So it comes at the low potential. Now we're looking about Q2. What happens to the Q2 now at this stage? Now base of Q2 also come at the low potential, you know, because uh, uh, you know collector of Q1 is low. Therefore, base of Q2 also come at the low potential. When it comes at the low potential, this is you know NP. When P comes at low potential, it 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 it, it goes to the it becomes the reverse biasing and because of the reverse biasing q2 turns off when q2 off there is no ic2 there is no ic2 and v out 2 becomes high so q1 is on v out 1 is low q2 is now you know off and v out 2 is now high this is what happened but this is again it is not a permanent uh, stage. Now what happens then? You know, now a charging current starts flowing. This is very important. At this stage, a charging current starts flowing. How? Through VCC, through this uh, resistor, through capacitor, and uh, through this transistor, which charge the capacitor right hand side of the capacitor becomes at the comes at the positive potential and the left hand left hand of the left hand plate of the capacitor comes at the low potential and because of the this charging you know charge appears at the capacitor the charging of the capacitor it, it the, this positive charge it makes the p high base high base at high potential and base at high potential mean forward biasing so q2 comes at uh, input junction of the q2 it comes at the forward biasing it becomes the forward biased it the input junction becomes the forward biased because uh, p is more positive and when it is forward bias it becomes on so this transistor becomes on when it on when this transistor is on what happened it goes to the low potential current starts flowing and v out 2 comes at the low potential so from high to it shifted to low when this is low you know this is low potential low potential uh, the base also becomes at the low potential so a meter base, base low potential, it is off 
it is of no collector current so this v out one comes at the high potential so this is again comes to the stable state back after toricaring 